George, could you explain to me what code red is and why it's so important to me? Okay. Our, our code red in the city of Wilmington is our, the vendor that we use for doing emergency notifications via telephone, text, or any media uh, on how we're going to notify the public of an impending emergency or emergency conditions that we want them to adhere to. When will Code Red be used? Uh, code Red will be used any time that the city uh, feels or the state feels that there's any emergency condition and or pending emergency. Could be a snow event, could be a flooding event, could be a uh, public health event. Um, we've used it in Wilmington. Uh, bef it, it is still under the Delaware Emergency Notification System, another tool in our toolbox for notification, but it is uh, the new vendor that we have. Uh, Code Red will be not used to notify not just residents, but businesses and anybody traveling through Delaware based on its mobile applications available. So this is in, in addition to what we may hear on the radio or see on TV or on the website? Absolutely. This will be a direct notification to a specific phone number, a specific media uh, device that will tell them what the, the pending uh, emergency is, what actions we would like them to take, and or if we want them to um, stay in their homes, shelter in place, if we think that we're going to be evacuating, tune to the, channel, the radio station or our channel 22 for further information. Uh, we will give them exactly what information uh, by the text message and or by a verbal word message over their telephones of what they are expected to do. Now tell me, does the Code Red already have my telephone number and, or do I need to sign up for co Code Red? Yes, good question. Um, we, like I said, we do have, we, we've had, had this system in place in Delaware for about five years. Uh, before it was just a different vendor, Code Red is a, is a vendor. The system is the Delaware Emergency Notification System. As I mentioned, uh, we do have that on our city, city website, all the emergency websites. They do have your phone number. Typically what we have right now is one phone number for every address in the city of Wilmington. Uh, that number you can go in and change. And now with the enhanced code red, you can then go in and add multiple phone numbers if you or multiple devices. But we do have a phone number for every physical address in the city of Wilmington, and that cannot be blocked. Uh, you know, it's not like a nuisance call that you're getting that won't come through. This message will come through. So that's my landline it would have. And I have a cell phone, so I can go in and include my cell phone if I have multiple cell phones. Yes, and, and we're going to start in April 1st when the registration starts for adding multiple devices. You're, you know, people can go in and actually check uh, to make sure their address is right, make sure that they can by putting their phone number in, and then they'll be able to actually add different devices, add different numbers. If they want more than one number, a second number, which will mean that if we call the home, they're working that day, might call their work phone, they might call their cell phone to let them know that there's emergency in their community, you know, not to come back to that area in case they don't hear it on any media device. So that's going to be the, the nice enhanced things about the Code Red part is it's enhancing the availability to get more than one device out. Family members, um, my kids, they have their own cell phones. Would I be able to add that to the... Uh, you, you would. We would not call all them unless we don't get a hold of the first number. Our, our typical thing is it's not a individual notification, it's a location notification. So it's mm -hmm. the pending emergency based on that location, 22 South Hill Street. We, that's where the emergency is in that area. We want to notify residents or people around that area it would only notify those addresses that we designate within that area that we want notified. Oh, I see. So beyond the Wilmington area, it we could same. we could do that. Yes, we could notify because disasters typically don't have boundary lines, as you right. know. I mean, we could be at the Port of Wilmington, 
It falls in the city of Wilmington. A lot of that area surrounding that is not in the Wilmington area. So we do have the ability. It is a statewide system. We do have a phone number for the system has a phone number for every address in the state of Delaware. So if we feel that that address is within the location of what where we want to get that message out, I have the ability as an emergency manager, police department, fire department, public health has that authority to get that message out to that that recognized area for that type of event. Now tell me, is my information protected? Yes, absolutely. Uh, we they don't we we we've, well, based on the contract we have a contract with the company. The state doesn't let them share the list with anybody, uh, share the numbers with anybody. As you know, typically it's, if you have an unlisted number, it's hard to get that number. Uh, we, we have those numbers. We can get those numbers through law because it's our job to notify people, and we don't want those calls blocked. But it, all your information is protected. Okay. How do I recognize a code red message? Uh, it'll, you'll actually hear the message. It'll say that it is a message from the City of Wilmington Office of Emergency Management or City of Wilmington Public Health Department. It'll give you a number to call back to where you can call back, check that number, and replay the number for some reason if you didn't hear the number. It allows you to touch a button on your phone and replay the message. It will mention the Delaware Emergency Notification System that it is an official notice, but if you want to check on that to make sure that the information you're getting, there will be a number for you to check. And then if it's a local event, which most of them are, we will actually provide a number of where to call for further information. In our case, a typical flooding event for this area, South Wilmington. We'll put on my phone number for the office here, have those certain residents in Southbridge contact my number for further information. So they, or they can always call the non-emergency number for the city of Wilmington to make sure that it's not just a, somebody calling them and starting something or doing anything. Now, when I receive this uh, code red message, what do I do? Whatever the message says. Like I said, it's going to be sometimes it's an informational message. Uh, we've used, we use the same system to notify people that to boil their water. We've had a water problem and the water's brown and they can see that and we'll tell them not to use it for washing of clothes or to go to the where we want them to do go to the local media, go to the local uh, radio station or the TV station or call the public health number or our city water department to find out more information. So it'll, it'll give you exactly what we want you to do. Seek other information or emergency actions. Go indoors, a tornado. Go indoors immediately or, you know, shut your doors, close your windows, do not leave your house. It'll give you those exact words. Right. So, okay. now. I have a cordless phone, and it doesn't work when the power goes out. How will the system able? How 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 will the system be able to contact me? In you know, if I well, it becomes a problem just like every other elect device that depends on electric. But we always ask you to have if you don't have a if you do have a power go out, have a regular landline phone available to be able to plug in. Because even the cordless phones, you have to plug some device into the phone system. So we ask you to keep that old device, even though it might not be the, what you want to see on your living room table or something. But we ask you to keep that and use that. And then please register a backup number with your cell phone or something like that when you're able to register uh, for the contact information. Because if we call and it doesn't go through to that cordless, then we will call the second number immediately. How early does that code red uh, go out? Well, we, we as soon as we're aware of the emergency and as soon as uh, public safety officials, again, determine that we need to notify the at-risk population. It has to be initiated by the public safety official. It's not an automatic. If there's a tornado warning in the area, everybody's going to get a message. We determine who's at risk. We determine if they're at such a risk that we need to get them a direct message that it's that bad in that area. But we're, we try not to use code red for the old call wolf thing. You know, we don't want to, you know, we don't want to alert everybody every time there's a rainstorm or every right. time the snow's going to fall. We want to notify them when there's actions for them to take 
that they wouldn't take normally during the course of an event. Okay, now what circumstances might prevent a message from being delivered to me? Well, we talked about the power outages. Right. We talked about you being on the phone. Okay. Again, you know, it's, we're, the, the, the system's only going to recognize that it can't get through, nobody's answering it. Uh, it, it, it could be uh, uh, many, many things that happens in your house. I don't know. The kids knock the phone off the hook or mm -hmm. something like that. But again, we think we have everything identified to where if that message isn't delivered to that device that we have, we'll know. We'll, we'll be aware of that and try to figure out how we're going to get that message out to that area or that device. So you've taken every possible step to get to every citizen in the city to make sure they are alerted when there's an event. And, an and, and event. again, we, we again we call it a tool in the toolbox. It's not the only system that Wilmington has for notification, as you know. We have our siren system. We have our AM radio station. We have Channel 22. All that's going out simultaneously. You know, the news media, people on TV are going to see it. They're going to start calling. Well, how come it's happening? And I don't know. We get right. those calls all the time. So, yeah. and so I, again. This is another exact message for a defined population, which okay. will really help the people outside of that area that don't have to worry about okay. that direct threat to them. It's just a general emergency for them.